Hi students, good morning all of you. Hope you are all doing good. Welcome to lecture 15 in theory of equations. Hope you have watched the previous 14 lectures in this topic. In this lecture, I will be discussing some problems on transformed equations with certain terms missing and we will define reciprocal equations and we will solve certain reciprocal equations. Let us solve one more problem. Here is our next problem. Transform the equation x to the power 4 plus 4x cube plus 2x square minus 4x minus 2 is equal to 0 into the one in which the coefficient of second highest power of x is 0 and also find their transformed equation. Let us try to find write the solution for this solution given f of x is equal to x to the power 4 plus 4x cube plus 2x square minus 4x minus 2 let alpha beta gamma delta be roots of f of x is equal to 0 ok so here the degree of the polynomial n is equal to 4 and the r the highest power to be removed is 2 ok so in order to remove second highest power of x in the transformed equation in the transformed equation the roots must be translated by by minus h where h satisfies the equation f n minus 2 plus 1 evaluated at h divided by n minus 2 plus 1 factorial is equal to 0 that is f 4 minus 2 plus 1 evaluated at h divided by n minus 2 plus 1 so this is 4 minus 2 plus 1 factorial must be is equal to 0 that means this is f third derivative evaluated at h divided by 3 factorial must be equal to 0 so let us find out the third derivative of f so f dash of uh, x is equal to 4x cube plus 4 into 3 that is 12 into x square plus 2 into 2 that is 4x minus 4 ok now let us find out f double dash x f double dash x is 12x square plus 2 into 12 that is 24x plus 4 ok now let us find out f triple dash h f triple dash of f of x f triple dash is 24x plus 24 so triple dash f triple dash evaluated at h must be equal to 0 in order to find out that h value so that is 24h plus 24 is equal to 0 implies h value is equal to minus 1 we have got h value as 
solution continuation here so we have got h value is equal to minus 1 so the roots must be translated by the roots must be translated by minus h that is equal to minus of minus 1 that is equal to 1 ok so the equation whose roots are translated by one is given by f of x minus one is equal to zero. So f of x minus one is equal to x minus 1 whole to the power 4 plus 4 into x minus 1 whole cube plus 2 into x minus 1 whole square minus 4 into x minus 2 so x minus 1 minus 2 is equal to 0 now anyway this after expanding it's again a fourth degree polynomial let me write down that a naught x to the power 4 plus a1 x to the power 3 plus a2 into x square plus a3 x plus a4 okay so this is your x minus 1 replace x with x plus 1 so this becomes f of x plus 1 minus 1 is equal to f of x ok so this f of x is equal to a naught into x plus 1 whole to the power 4 plus a1 into x plus 1 whole cube plus a2 into x plus 1 whole square plus a3 into x plus 1 plus a4 let us find out the coefficients using synthetic division so let us divide let me write the coefficient 1 4 2 minus 4 and minus 2 let me divide with uh, x plus 1 that is minus 1 so 1 plus 0 is 1 minus 1 into 1 is minus 1 so 4 minus 1 is 3 minus minus 1 into 3 is uh, minus 3 minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1 minus 1 into minus 1 is 1 1 minus 4 is uh, minus 3 minus 1 into minus 3 is 3 3 minus 2 is 1 so this is your a4 now once again I have to divide with minus 1 so this becomes 1 plus 0 is 1 minus 1 into 1 is uh, minus 1 3 minus 1 is 2 minus 1 into 2 is uh, minus 2 minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 minus 1 into minus 3 is 3 so that becomes 0 so this is your a3 minus 1 0 here 1 plus 0 is 1 minus 1 into 1 is minus 1 so 2 minus 1 is 1 minus 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 minus 3 plus minus 1 is minus 4 so this is uh, a2 
so this is once again I am dividing with minus 1 1 comma 0 is 1 minus 1 into 1 is uh, minus 1 so this becomes 0 so the required transformed equation is the required transformed equation is x to the power 4 plus 0 into x cube minus 4 into x square plus 0 into x plus 1 is equal to 0 that is x to the power 4 minus 4x square plus 1 is equal to 0 this is the final answer ok let us solve one more problem here is our next problem transform the equation x cube plus 2x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 into the one in which the coefficient of the third highest power of x is 0 and also find their transformed equation ok so let us solve this problem here is the solution let f of x is equal to x cube plus 2x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 and let alpha beta gamma be the roots of the equation f of x is equal to 0 in order to remove third highest power third highest power the roots must be translated by the roots must be translated by minus h where h satisfies the equation h sorry f n minus 3 plus 1 evaluated at h derivative this derivative have to find out n minus 3 plus 1 factorial here n is equal to 3 and r is also equal to 3 so this must be is equal to 0 that is f 3 minus 3 that is f dash h divided by 1 factorial must be is equal to 0 so what is f dash so f dash x is equal to 3x square plus 4x plus 1 ok so to find h value f dash h must be 0 f dash h must be 0 means 3h square plus 4h plus 1 so that can be written as 3h plus 1 into h plus 1 is equal to 0 implies h is equal to minus 1 comma minus 1 by 3 so the roots alpha beta gamma must be translated by translated by minus h that is that is equal to 1 comma 1 or 1 by 3 ok so the equation whose roots are
translated by 1 is f of x minus 1 is equal to 0 and translated by 1 by 3 is f of x minus 1 by 3 is equal to 0. Now we have to find out this to find f of x minus 1 is equal to 0. We use the synthetic division method here. So use the synthetic division method. We use the synthetic division method here. So first you have to write down the coefficients. So 1, 2, 1 and 1. Now since it is f of x minus 1 I have to divide with minus 1 now. So this is 0. So 1 plus 0 is 1. Minus 1 into 1 is uh, minus 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. Minus 1 into 1 is uh, minus 1. 1 plus 1 is 0. Minus 1 into 0 is 0. So this becomes your a3. Next. This is 1 minus 1 into 1 is a minus 1 1 minus 1 is 0 minus 1 into 0 is 0 so this becomes 0 now I have to divide with minus 1 again So 1 plus 0 is 1 to divide with minus 1 again. So this becomes minus 1. So 0 plus 0 minus 1 is minus 1. So this is your a2 and this is your uh, a1 and this is your a0. So the required transformed equation is required transformed equation is x cube minus x square plus 0 into x plus 1 is equal to 0 that is x cube minus x square plus 1 is equal to 0 now let us find out f of x minus 3 to find f of x minus 3 now we have to divide with the minus 1 by 3 1 2 1 1 so it is 0 so 1 plus 0 is 1 1 into minus 1 by 3 is minus 1 by 3 2 minus 1 by 3 2 minus 1 by 3 is uh, 5 by 3 minus 5 minus 1 by 3 into 5 by 3 is uh, minus 5 by 9 so 1 minus 5 by 9 is uh, 4 by 9 minus 1 by 3 into 4 by 9 is uh, minus 4 by 27 27 so it is 1 minus 4 by 27 27 minus 4 is 23 so 23 by 27 now once again I have to divide with so this is 1 minus 1 by 3 into 1 is minus 1 by 3 5 by 3 minus 1 by 3 is uh, 4 by 3 minus 1 by 3 into 4 by 3 is uh, minus 4 by 9 so that becomes 0 now uh, this is minus 1 by 3 into so 1 plus 0 is 1 minus 1 by 3 into minus 1 is uh, minus 1 by 3 4 by 3 minus 1 by 3 is 3 by 3 that is equal to 1 
so this is actually is your a3 and this is your a2 and this is your a1 and this is your a0 so the required transformed equation is required transformed equation is uh, a0 into x cube plus a1 into x square plus a2 into 0 plus 23 divided by 27 is equal to 0 implies 27 into x cube plus 27 into x square plus 23 is equal to 0 this is the final answer ok so we have got two transformed equations the two transformed equations are twenty seven x cube plus twenty seven x square plus twenty three is equal to zero or x cube minus x square plus one is equal to zero. This is the final answer. Let us solve one more problem. Here is our next problem. Transform the equation x power four plus two x cube minus twelve x square plus two x minus one into the one in which the coefficient of third highest power of x is 0 and also find the transformed equation. Let us solve this problem. Here is the solution. Solution given f of x is equal to x to the power 4 plus 2x cube minus 12x square plus 2x minus 1 ok and here let alpha beta gamma delta be the roots of f of x is equal to 0 ok here the degree of the equation is a 3 and we have to sorry degree of the equation is 4 it's a fourth degree equation and we have to eliminate the third highest power that is r is equal to 3 so in order to eliminate in order to eliminate the third highest power third highest power of x in the transformed equation in the transformed equation the roots must be the roots of f of x is equal to 0 has to be translated by minus h where h satisfies the following equation h satisfies the equation f n minus r plus 1th derivative of f divided by n minus r plus 1 factorial is equal to 0 this implies f 4 minus 3 plus 1 at h divided by 4 minus 3 plus 1 that is equal to second derivative of f at h divided by 2 factorial must be 0 that is second derivative of f at h must be 0 you have to solve this equation let us find out a second derivative first we will find out the first derivative f dash x is equal to 4x cube 
प्लस सिक्स एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर एक्स प्लस टू ओके एंड एफ डबल डैश एक्स इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस ट्वेल्व एक्स माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर सो एफ डबल डैश एट हेच इज इक्वल टू जीरो इम्प्लस ट्वेल्व हेच स्क्वायर प्लस ट्वेल्व हेच माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर इज इक्वल टू जीरो थ्रू आउट डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेल्व वी गेट हेच स्क्वायर प्लस हेच माइनस टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो दैट मीन्स दिस इज हेच प्लस वन इंटू हेच माइनस टू दिस इज हेच प्लस टू इंटू हेच माइनस वन सॉरी दिस कैन बी फैक्ट्राइज एस हेच प्लस टू इंटू हेच माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो द पॉजिबल हेच वैल्यूज आर हेच इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू कामा हेच इज इक्वल टू वन द रूट्स मस्ट बी ट्रांसलेटेड बाय द रूट्स ऑफ द इक्वेशन एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो must be translated by minus h that is minus of minus 2 comma minus 1 that is this value is equal to 2 so the equation whose roots are alpha alpha plus 2 comma beta plus 2 comma gamma plus 2 comma delta plus 2 is f of x minus 2 is equal to 0 so we need to find out f of x minus 2 now so we use the synthetic division here synthetic division to find out f of x minus 2 so let me write the coefficients here okay so 1 plus 2 let me write it as 2 minus 12 2 comma minus 1 so this must be minus 2 So zero here. So one plus zero is one. Minus two into one is uh, minus two. Two minus two is zero. Two into zero is zero. So this is minus twelve. Minus two into minus twelve is twenty-four. Twenty-four plus two is twenty-six. Minus two into minus twenty-six is uh, minus fifty-two. So this is minus fifty-three. So this is your a four. Now let me divide further. Minus two, zero here. One minus two into one is minus two. So this becomes uh, minus two. Minus two into minus two is uh, four. Minus twelve plus uh, four is minus eight. Minus two into minus eight is sixteen. Twenty-six plus sixteen is forty-two. Uh, So this is my a three. Now let me divide further. This is zero, one minus two into one is minus two. So this is minus four. Minus two into minus four is eight. So this becomes zero. So this is my a two. Now let me divide further. So this is one. Minus two into one is uh, minus two. Minus two minus four is minus six. So this is my a one, and this is your a naught. So the transformed equation is a 
द ट्रांसफॉर्म इक्वेशन f of x minus 2 is equal to 0 is x to the power 4 minus 6 x cube plus 0 into x square plus 42x minus 53 is equal to 0. Observe that the third highest term coefficient is 0. So it can be written as x power 4 minus 6 x cube plus 42 x minus 53 is equal to 0. Now let us find out the transform equation corresponding to minus 1 now. Now let us find out the equation corresponding to when the roots are translated by minus 1. The equation whose roots are alpha minus 1, comma beta minus 1, comma gamma minus 1, comma delta minus 1 is f of x plus 1 is equal to 0. So we have to find. f of x plus 1 is equal to 0 using Horner synthetic or synthetic division method. Okay. Now let us find out f of x plus 1 using this synthetic division. So let me write the coefficients here 1 and 2 minus 12 here 2 and minus 1. Now I have to divide with the 1. So 1 plus 0 is uh, 1. 1 into 1 is 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. 1 into 3 is 3. Minus 12 plus 3 is minus 9. 1 into minus 9 is minus 9. This becomes minus 7. 1 into minus 7 is minus 7. So this becomes minus 8. So this is equal to my A4. Now I have to divide with 1 again. So this is 1 plus 0, 1. 1 into 1 is 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. 1 into 4 is uh, 4. Minus 9 plus 4 is uh, minus 5. 1 into minus 5 is this one. So minus 7 minus 5 is minus 12. So this is equal to A3. So 1 plus 0 is uh, 1. 1 into 1 is 1. 4 plus 1 is uh, 5. 1 into 5 is 5. Then this becomes 0. Let me divide it once again. So this becomes 1. 1 into 1 is 1 so that becomes 6 so this is your a2 and this is your a1 and this is your a0 okay so the transformed equation f of x plus 1 is equal to 0 is x to the power 4 plus 6 x cube plus 0 into x square minus 12 x minus 8 is equal to 0. Again observe that the third highest power coefficient is 0. So this can be written as x to the power 4 plus 6 x cube minus 12 x minus 8 is equal to 0. This is the required transformed equation. So, the possible transformed equations are the possible transformed equation satisfying the given condition are the first one is x to the power 4 plus 6x cube 
minus 12x minus 8 is equal to 0 and the second one is x to the power 4 minus 6x cube plus 42x minus 53 is equal to 0. Hope you have understood this problem.